Hi everyone, I'm Tom. Today I'm going to be playing Legendary, well, Marvel What If Legendary, but it's Marvel Legendary. This is a standalone set. You can just buy this as your first one if you want, or you can have it as an expansion to Legendary like we have. I'm joined today by Rach. Hi. We've been playing a lot of Legendary lately. This is the latest thing to come out, although it hasn't really made its way over to England yet Somehow anyway. Somehow it has, because well, we have it. Amazon.com <laughs> and we're going to be giving it a go here because I haven't covered Legendary for ages I think since Civil War. We haven't had it for a while. We have it now though. More than ever. Before we get started I recommend you turn on the Klingon subtitles. If I've made any mistakes they'll be corrected there. Thanks Steve and if you'd like to support the channel you can do it on Patreon or Ko-fi. There are links to that in the description. Thanks if you can. As I said What If is a separate standalone base set. You can just play it with this. A lot of the base cards like the bystanders, the officers and things, they are just ours because I didn't use the What If ones because we've got loads already. So you'll see things pop up that aren't quite What If cards but all of the heroes, villains, all of that stuff that we're using is from the What If set. So in this game we will be fighting to stop Ultron Infinity who is our mastermind. It'll get empowered as sentries come out. We'll worry about all of that tiny text when it matters but we need eight strike eight fights to be able to fight him fight him four times and you win eight strike for now oh yeah it's he probably gonna go off he's gonna get empowered by stuff uh, and his scheme is he is trying to collect an interstellar zoo so there will be scheme twists mixed in the villain deck when one of those comes out we are going to potentially have to give one of those heroes up for a scheme twist the first one is going to try and take a strength hero so maybe we don't want strength heroes straight away but we'll see how it all works out when we are in there. So we start out with a deck of 12 cards. We've got shield agents and shield troopers. The agents give us money, the troopers give us attack. You start the game with six of those 12 cards in your hand. And so we'll decide who starts and then we'll just go clockwise through the game. So what have we started with? Three and three each. Do you want to go first then, right? Sure. <coughs> so at the start of your turn, you draw a villain card. And depending on what it is, it's going to do some different things. Let's see what it is here. That's Party Kraglin from the set Intergalactic Party Animals. That's one of the sets just randomly put in there. Ultron has a special set. He's got Ultron sentries that he wants in there, but you also need some extra ones. For two players, it's two villain sets and a henchman set. So it's a villain, so it's going to enter the city, and sometimes they have ambush abilities that would take place now when they come in. This one hasn't, uh, but when we fight it, it's got a special ability. We need four strike to be able to fight it, and they are worth victory points because the rules as written take this from a cooperative game to a kind of a cooperative game with a bit of competition in it that you need to all win by defeating the mastermind but someone wins more than everybody else who is more heroic than the others we still keep victory piles because sometimes that's important for abilities but we don't generally keep scores no. so party craglin's come out there he's going to need four strike to fight which unfortunately for us we're not going to be able to do that and so on your turn you can play the cards from your hands Later on, we will get cards with abilities and all of that good stuff on them. But for now, our cards just play one of these agents to provide you with one recruit. In the HQ down here, there is a price to recruit these heroes and their specific abilities from these cards. Recruit them and put them in your discard pile. When your deck runs out, shuffle your discard pile up and the good cards will come through again. And they've got tons of different abilities on them. We'll get to that if we buy the cards. So, Rach, mm -hmm. since you can't fight anything, I yeah. assume you're just going to be buying something. So oh. there is, oh, I should say as well, to interrupt you, as well as the heroes in the HQ, there are also shield officers you can buy. They cost three money and generally are just worth two recruit, but there's some special ones in there as well. And sidekicks, well, normally they cost two and they let you draw two more cards when you play them. You lose the card, but you get to draw two more. But having said that at this point, throughout all the legendary expansions, there may be more special sidekicks in there than normal ones at this point. So they do some special things getting one of those. And that's especially good if you're stuck for something to buy. But it can afford something. I suppose the downside of the sidekicks would be that if you get a special sidekick, they do have a class. Oh, that's true as well. That's true of the officers. Mm -hmm. If you get a special officer, oh, well. they've got a class as well. For our scheme. Yeah. Um. So I've got three um, recruit. I mean... This is all I can afford in the HQ. Who's this? Uatu? I don't know how to say their name. Uatu the Watcher. See, so the HQ is made up of cards from five different hero sets. So we've definitely, we've got a few of them out. Apocalyptic Black Widow, 
Gamora, Destroyer of Thanos, Killmonger, Spec Ops, and Uatu the Watcher. I can't remember who the last one is. I think it, it's Party Thor. It, it is Party Thor. I remember seeing Which it when it's well, the, oh, the disadvantage we're at here is we haven't seen Marvel What If. No. So we know the characters, but we don't really know what stories they're going on in this. And it's got like it's got stills from the animation rather than the comic art of normal legendary. It's like, there are like MCU ones as well that have got like stills from the films. But the weird thing about that is it's got enormous logos from the films mm. on top of the picture as well. Luckily this hasn't got that. So if you've got another dimension crumbles, this would be a covert card. That's a red card. Sometimes that's important for abilities, and we've seen with the scheme they're after particular things depending on what scheme twists come out. Playing it would give you two recruits, and it's got a what-if ability. So this is one of the four new keywords to this set. What-if means when you play this card, you need to name a hero, so the what of the Watcher perhaps, or a class, like Covert. Draw the top card of your deck, and you decide whether to put it back on top of your deck or discard it. If you were right about guessing the hero name or class, then you get to do the what-if ability. And the what-if ability here would be, you may KO a card from your hand or discard pile. KO is removed from the game, essentially. Mm -hmm. So it is risky buying the covert, covert red icon, but I mean, we can't just it's, not buy any. It's not going to happen anything. until Twist 3. And, and it it's might, only yeah. if it's in your hand. Yeah, it's only if you can reveal that card. It'd be nice to KO cards, I suppose. Same as buying a officer. Yeah. But with a power, so I think I will. Okay. So the HQ Either. fills immediately. My three. And then I just, I'm not using this attack, so we just shuffle. Yeah, everything gets well, discarded, discarded whether you used it or not. For next time. And then you draw back up to six. And then you don't shuffle your discard until you need to draw yeah. from the discard. So a new card from the villain deck for me, and it's a scheme twist. Wow. So we've just made the scheme a bit bigger. There are 11 twists in the deck. So the twist has happened, and here's the effect of it. Each player reveals their hand, starting with the current player, which would be me, then clockwise, the first player to have one of this kind of hero in their hand or discard pile. Oh. Stacks it next to this scheme stolen for the zoo. So twist one was a strength hero. Knew that with, it's only turn two. I haven't ever, even had a chance to buy anything yet. So we get away with that. But you'll see it's got 10 more chances that to try and get something else. everything offers. because I just thought it was in your hand with discard pile as well. Ooh. We're just going to have to hope. We can't it's not buy nasty. anything until the scheme twists have passed. So there's still only party craggling here to fight. I've started with three strike, unfortunately. So I can't fight anything. I've only got three recruit. So I can't afford anything that's in the HQ. A bit unlucky with this HQ to start with. Pretty expensive. Everything is really expensive. So to be able to afford stuff, I think I'm going to buy an officer then because they cost three. And let's see who I end up with. This is the standard officer in normal legendary anyway. I believe it might be a different character. Maybe it's Nick Fury in What If? Maybe. But yeah, there we go. I've got a, another card that will give me two recruits. Might help me afford some of these later. But we do know that thanks to our starting decks, my hand's going to be the same as Rachel's. Five recruits. Not much attacking coming One attack. out for a couple of turns. And I bought a money card as well, so... But then, that was all I could afford at the time. So, Rach, mm -hmm. your villain card... Oh, you have got Party Korg, also from the Intergalactic Party Animals. So five strike to fight them, and then fight, KO one of your heroes. Escape means... If the city fills up with villains and a new one comes out and someone gets knocked off the end, they escape, which is bad for us. We have to discard cards if they manage to kidnap bystanders. But they sometimes have effects as well. So we'll worry about that when they escape. But I think to avoid wounds, we want to have fought intergalactic party villains. Or we have got party Thor. So yeah, maybe it's have a party count, thing, isn't it? So you never know. Okay, so Rach... So I can't attack anything, but I do have five recruits. So you could get a few different things here. Oh, well, two different things. Or you could get like an officer and a sidekick. So we've got Precision Strike from Apocalyptic Black Widow. It's a tech card, a black card here. It just gives you three strike no matter what. But it's got this ability here. So whenever you see something like this, it's have already played a card this turn that's got that thing on it. So if... When you play this card, you already played a tech card this turn. You can activate this ability when you play Precision Strike, which would get you two extra strike. So it'd be with five. That's only 
going to kick in if you get another tech card. There is one in the HQ, mm. but it's a pricey one. Uh, the eight costs are kind of the ultimate card from that hero, so they've come out dead early. And then we've got Violence Leaves Scars from Killmonger. Strength type, which we have just gone past, actually, so mm. maybe that's the safest thing to get. It's three strike. You do need a strength card to be played to be able to activate this. You get plus one strike for every different villain group in your victory pile, which potentially better at higher player counts because the more villain groups about. Yeah, but we only have three. Yeah, we've only got three available in ours. Although maybe would killing an Astermine count as a villain group as well? I think I will take this though because kill manga. there's less chance of losing it but yeah. to the zoo. There are later on there's going to be certain costs of cards and certain amounts of strikes and things but in terms of strength that's just happened we've got there break the oath or to the watcher and that only costs four i can afford that at least or i could get the apocalypse at black widow tech isn't happening until the fourth scheme twist so maybe that's safe here's a scheme twist so i still haven't bought anything yet there are 11 in the deck though and in a two-player game there's not so many villain types so for twist two, that is going to be an instinct hero, a yellow hero. We haven't even had the chance to buy one of those yet. I was worried then. the top sidekick. I think it was going to be red. Now that's next time. Oh. So yeah, going to be in your discard pile if a skin twist comes out soon. So I wasn't going to be able to attack anything anyway with just one strike. Five money. Maybe I should go for Black Widow. I mean... We need to get some attacks on the go, don't we? Yeah, we need to get something because... Being able to attack Ultron early, I haven't got anything helping him out yet. But when the master strikes start happening, that could all change. Let's just cross my fingers that I'm not going to lose this. I'll spend my five money on getting that apocalyptic Black Widow. Destroy an Infinity Stone from Gamora. It's powerful, but we don't need to get into it yet because that costs six. That's expensive. a while away. We have been unlucky. Yeah. Unlucky shuffle. So I need six cards. I've got my shield officer. And I've got my precision strike. So Rach, your villain card. Oh, here we go. The henchman, Ultron Sentry. So this is something required by Ultron. Only two strike to fight, but they are empowered by covert heroes. So empowered means they get plus one strike, which is the amount you need to be able to defeat them for every covert hero in the HQ, which for now is Pretty good, I think. I think we're okay with that. When you fight them, you need to care one of your heroes. There's which one. might sound one bad. Oh, is the one? Yeah, there's one in there. Oh, yeah. Apocalypse of Black Widow is red. It's just the, the borders and everything aren't red because it's like the expensive ultimate card. So, caring one of your heroes is bad in a way. You're losing a card, but you can be losing a starting card and refining your deck a bit. So, what have you got, Rach? A big ton of recruits? Yes. I've got six recruit. I only one attack, so I won't attack anything. I mean, it's risky, but I could do with that um, Killmonger card, really, because I want that symbol, the tech symbol. So do you want to try your what-if ability? Yeah. So you've got to name a class or hero name. The unfortunate thing is going to be, I don't think, unless your, your strength comes up, which was Killmonger, wasn't it? Because that's the only hero name mm. you've got. Well, let's see if it is a shield agent. So you reveal, you, yeah. it was Killmonger. So you can either put that back on top of your deck or in your discard pile, keeping it on top. So you were wrong, so you don't get the what if ability, but there's no other downside than that. And you know that a card's come in there. So I'm going to buy, I think, I was tempted to buy the six cost card, where I might buy the four and get a sidekick. So three strike, and if you played an instinct here, you could use soul bind. Just special keyword. This means take a villain from your victory pile and turn them face down. So you can't use the ability on that particular villain again. But it also stops certain villains. Like there's like Rise of the Living Dead and stuff that looks at face up heroes in your victory deck. They're not face up if they've been soul bound. Uh, so if you could soul bind something, KO a card from your hand or discard pile. But I think I'm going to get this Iwatu card, Break the Oath, which has got a little what if power. You get plus two scratches if you can guess what's on the top of your deck. Okay. And then because that only costs four and I've got six money, I'm going to buy a sidekick as well because they cost two. It's a standard sidekick. And kick. it's a standard sidekick, which just lets you draw two extra cards and you return him to the deck. Hey, we've got a party Thor card. 
There he is. Okay, so my turn, and we have got some more party animals. Party Nebula. So ambush, this happens now when they would enter the city. If there are any other intergalactic party animals in the city, there are two. Each player discards a card. That's a shame. And then if she escapes, same effect. Five strike to fight her. I'm going to discard an attack because I've got lots of attack and I could get a sidekick with yeah. that money. That's probably more wise. Okay, so I've got precision strike here. I can't use its ability, but just with the card, it gives me three strike. So I could fight an Ultron Sentry. But carrying one of my heroes, I want to have played them for their money first because you can play them and then it doesn't say they have to be in your hand. So you can KO a hero you've already played. So I've got two, three, four, five money. So I could get that party thought that's just come out where three recruits, whenever you recruit a hero that costs five or more this turn, reveal the top card of your deck and you may KO it. So good, but uh, it's just like, uh, it's six to get another tech card to make these work together. And we have had strength, so yeah, hopefully it'll help later. But actually, I, I should just make the recruit and fight it first while we know that it only has three strikes because it could go up. So I'll fight it now. You've already played the cards to generate the money. You don't have to recruit something straight away with it. So I'll fight it now. It's three. That goes in my victory pile and I'll KO something. So I'll KO a shield agent and that goes away. And then I'll recruit Party Thor. And then the card that comes out is, oh, it is a red one. Plant hidden asset from Apocalypse at Black Widow. One recruit, draw a card. You can make a villain capture a bystander. The reason you want to do that is because some of Black Widow's later cards have got Liberate on there, and that ability means you can do extra damage, so it would be here, damage equal to the number of bystanders in your victory pile, but you can only do that damage to villains that have captured a bystander or the mastermind. She's angry that they've captured bystanders. Okay, that's me done. I think it's just normal cards coming out now, isn't it? Had all my specials. So, Rach, mm -hmm. what have you got? You've got another Ultron Sentry, which is now a, a four-strike villain because of the okay. Covets down there. But you could try and recruit the Covets first and change it that way. I could, but I might attack something else because I've got five. I've got my oh, yeah? three. I don't have another strength, so I can't kick off this power. But that means I've got five attack and two recruit so i'm going to defeat party Korg because he lets me ko one of my heroes and then i will ko a money i've already played them and get a sidekick okay so i had two two recruit you've got a special got sidekick special. it's come from one of the other expansions is that boo civil war that's civil come war. from giving you a type might get captured oh actually strike two's happened so we're not looking for the instinct ones anymore Okay, a card from your hand or discard pile, put this on the bottom of the sidekick stack because like all the sidekicks, if you use it, it doesn't stick around. One shots. All right, just shuffling. Let's see what's happened here. A master strike, something that the mastermind is going to be doing. So it's master strike is cross-dimensional Ultron Rampage. So this means you need to reveal either an Ultron card in your hand. So I think if you had the villain set, you could have Ultron as a player card, uh, but or your victory pile. That's unfortunate for me. I have fought Ultron sentries, so I'm okay there. If you can't, you need to gain a wound. So the wounds are junk cards, basically, that don't do anything and clock up your hand. And there are special ones, but Rachel's just got a standard one here. You can have a healing option. If you basically don't do anything else on your turn, if you don't recruit any heroes, you don't defeat any villains, you can KO all of the wounds from your hand. And there are abilities on some cards that get rid of wounds as well. So that goes into Rachel's discard pile. But that's not all. Then each player stacks an Ultron Sentry from their victory pile next to Ultron. Put this strike next to Ultron as an Infinity Stone. When Ultron has gained five Infinity Stones, plus this card as the Mind Stone, he gets Infinity Strikes. So that might sound like he's unbeatable, but there is, for instance, a Gamora card right in the HQ that can deal Infinity damage. So yeah. maybe that'd be all right. And the downside to the Ultron Sentry being with him is that he gets the empowered abilities yeah. of them so now he will potentially cost more yeah. attack he is now empowered by red so that's it for me i've got three strike which means i'm not going to be able to fight anything because the sentries are four i've got three money which means i can't afford to buy anything let's go for another officer maybe i'll get a special one oh i've got a special one 
Yo-Yo Rodriguez, a ranged hero, a blue hero, which is a bit of a shame because that type hasn't come out yet, might get captured for the zoo. So two recruits, which is what officers just do anyway, we've seen the standard one. Uh, if you have already played two shield heroes this turn, you may send this hero undercover. That means you can put them in your victory pile. Sometimes that's important for shield related things. Or you can put it on top of your deck. Also, it means if you, you you don't have to have it in your deck anymore if you feel like yeah, you don't it, need yeah, it. Yeah, it's a way of like, it, it can thin out your deck itself. There is an officer that lets you put other shield heroes into your victory pile undercover. Yeah, and there's a thing about shield level as well mm. where you want them in your victory pile. It's a shame because I'm just buying money here, but we need, kind of need that to break I mean, through you'll this. You'll be able to get this eight, these eight and these six, isn't it? I hope so. So, Rach, you have got, oh dear, a Master Strike. Oof. Straight away, and yeah. there's been no fighting of anything since last time, so we're both going to have to gain a wound. But he isn't getting empowered by anything, on the plus side, I suppose. Standard wound for me, and Rach has got a Grievous Wound. So this can be healed just with the other wounds, with its standard ability, but it's got a special one. You can spend five strike to get rid of this particular wound, instead of healing the normal one. That is unfortunate for me. Uh, I can't attack anything this turn, and you got one scratch. I've got five recruits. Which, which means leads, Black Widow or nothing. Yeah. Well, I guess I will take her. Although Red and hasn't come out yet and it's gaining my discard pile. But true. I guess that's something we'll have to do. It's coming out new. Oh, another Red, so Ultron doesn't get any cheaper. We don't want to get double. I suppose, I don't know, being double empowered might not be a bad thing if we can get rid of all the Covert. Uh, so we've seen that. It's the one Rach recruited first. So I've got a ton of money here. What have I got? <gasps> We've got a bystander. This is a special X-Men bystander. Uh, if you can rescue this bystander, usually by fighting the henchman like it goes to the first villain in the city, they have captured that bystander. So Warlock, somehow I've got tangled up with an Ultron Sentry. If I can rescue Warlock, I go into my deck, mm. which is good because it's a tech hero. So it would work well with the Black Widow card I got. So I've got loads of money there, which is going to hold me back fighting those Ultron sentries. So what did my party Thor do? Whenever you recruit a hero that costs five or more this turn, reveal the top card of your deck and you can KO it. So I'm not going to be able to draw it, so definitely not going to be fighting because I've got one strike this turn. But I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight cash. So on the one hand, I could go with the Black Widow card. Well, you could potentially get a bystander. And that is just four strike. If I can get some bystanders, that would oh, be great. The Infinity Crusher, the Gamora card, is a tech card as well. Oh, that's true. And if Ultron does get the Infinity Stone and goes ultimate later, we would oh, really like to have that card. It's just that Scheme Twist 4 is going to get rid of a tech card, that which is, is true. scary. I mean, Covert hasn't happened yet, though. That's the next Scheme Twist. So we're stuck either way. Hopefully, we don't lose the Infinity Crusher. I'll spend all of my turn doing that so I can reveal the top card of my deck and I may KO it. I've got loads of money in my deck, so I will KO it. So I've got a wound and still got loads of standard cards, but I've got some good ones, I think. Good recruiting cards. Rach, you have... Oh, dear. <laughs> Master what you, Strike. Why you have to reveal an Ultron card? A card with an Ultron on it? Yep. Oh. Well, I mean, I suppose at least we haven't got any Ultron sentries to put into his... No, that's three of the five Power. strikes that are in the deck. Well, it's nearly ultimate. Yeah. We well, also have doesn't... to take a wound as well. Yeah, he doesn't get any more powerful. Oh. Oh, Rach. Ooh, that's a bit tight. So you can, if you want to, on your turn, you can just give this wound to the player on your left instead of like having to heal it another way. Three wounds. Kind of part of like... the weird competition of legendary if you play it the normal way. But sometimes people need wounds. True. So, like, I think there's a Hulk. There's a version of Hulk that likes wounds and Wolverine. Yeah can get rid of wounds as well easier like this sometimes I have advantages to certain people having wounds so I can't kick off any of my power well I could potentially kick off this power yeah let's you try that first you could even if you if you really want the strikes to happen you could maybe do this what if first and if you're wrong about it you can keep it on top of your deck oh, yeah and then you know what it is for the other so what if ability this. so I'm just gonna hide my deck so you can see what I've played so Say what if you may KO card from your hand discard pile if I'm successful. What could it be? See, I've got a lot in my discard pile. Can you look at your discard pile? No, I think that really helped. I'm just going to say Shield Trooper. Okay. No. Yes. Yeah. Oh. It's an agent, unfortunately. That's unfortunate. So you don't get the what if of that, but... I'm going to... Does he discard that or do you just reveal you just... it? 
it's your choice. I'm going to you leave can, it there. You can put it on top of your deck or you can discard it. Because I can what if it again now when I know what it is. I'm going to what if and I'm going to say it's a shield agent and it's a shield agent. Okay, so you get that what if ability. So I'm going to leave it on top. An extra two strike from that. I left it on top because I'm going to play this in KO card from my hand. Oh no, I'm going to put it in my discard. I'm going to discard it though because I don't know if I want necessarily money next turn. Okay. I've got a lot of money in my deck. So then I play this. I haven't got another strength card. My other two, so and what's, then... So what's that now? Nine strike. If you can... Oh no, there's three covert. Yeah, I can't buy them. Well, you could fight these two. The fight of this is you get plus one recruit for every intergalactic party animal in your victory pile. You've already got one, and if you fought Nebula first, then he would be the third. That is so true. you get three extra money. So I'll fight Nebula for five. So no special effect from her. And then I'll fight Kraglin. That's plus three So plus three, three money recruits. now. So you've got five recruits. Uh, I mean, you have the Assassin Stealth, the Cheap Gamora. I love cards that just let you draw more cards. Yeah, let's go. It gives it. you nothing, but if you've already played a Covert, you get plus two recruits. So I will get that. So that's two, so I've got three left. And, okay, well, we've got a Cheap Killmonger card, Hunt New Prey. It's tech and strength. One recruit, and you get plus one for each different villain group in your victory pile. I will think that, well, that's two. I've got three left. I'm going to get that because it's got strength on it. And I could try and kick this off. It, I could lose it, though. Although I am about to shuffle my discard pile. I'm going to do that. So then... I've got another... Here are all the cheap ones. I'm going to play this sidekick that says KO a card from your hand or discard pile puts on the bottom of the psychic stack. I'm going to KO a wound. Yeah. So often the KO says KO one of your heroes, which is like specifically... Not something like a wound, but that's KO a card. I mean, do I? I mean, I'll just KO this special one. If I have five scratches, I'm not going to want to. Well, the city might be empty. That is true. I'd say okay. a normal, a normal, normal wound. One. You haven't got the option of it because you can, you can always get rid of a grievous wound the old-fashioned way, but you can't get rid of a normal wound the special way. So I'll reach just sort it out. Let's see what's coming out. Oh, a different Ultron Sentry, empowered by strength. Bite KO one of your heroes. So strength. There is no strength in the HQ right now, and I do want to fight this one because I would like Warlock, but at the moment, plus three. So what do I got then? I can, you know, play two, play my troopers first, so I've got two shield cards out there. Then Yo-Yo's ability can kick in, you send it undercover or put it on top of your deck. Are you on top of your deck? You'd get the money again next turn, wouldn't you? What would I like to do? It's a tech card, maybe that's going to be important. Or maybe I want to get rid of it because, oh, a ranged card, I mean. Maybe I don't want the ranged card for when the scheme twist happens. There's a few in the future, though. We've got four money, three attack. So I could fight the new Ultron sentries. I think I'm going to put it on top of my deck. I've got four money. What am I going to do with that four money? Can I afford stuff? Could get diverging time streams. One recruit, draw a card, then put a card from your hand on top of your deck. If you've already played a covert, get a recruit. Haven't got other covert cards. I'd like to have some more money. Because that's okay. That hasn't happened yet, though, the zoo gathering. So I might avoid them. I can only buy one sidekick. I think I'll go for a sidekick and just waste two money. So we've got Rusty Firefist Collins, special sidekick, uh, who is another ranged hero. One strike, investigate your deck for a card that costs zero. KO it or discard it, and then it goes back to the sidekick stack. So investigate means draw the top two cards of your deck. If there's one that costs zero, you do the thing, and you can decide whether those cards you investigated, the other ones, go back on top or bottom of your deck. So he's in my discard pile, and I've got three strikes, so I might as well, although Ultron might end up getting empowered by it. I suppose I can avoid a wound, and I get to KO someone. I'll fight some Ultron sentries, because I really want to fight those ones. There's Yo-Yo Rodriguez back. Coming out right. Oh, Party Scroll. I don't think we've got, we've got another villain type that hasn't come out <laughs> at all yet. These decks have been shuffled. So, Ambush, Lunch. Party Scroll, captures the highest cost hero from all the HQ spaces under Intergalactic Party Animals. Oh dear. There's no Intergalactic Party Animals. He's one. Okay. Party Scroll gets the scratches equal to that hero's cost. If you fight him... I mean, yeah, he, he is now 10 strike to fight, but if you fight him, you can KO that hero or choose someone to gain it. Which, you know, I was hoping to be able to afford her at some point, but no. So, Rach, what have you got? So, I'm going to play my sidekick first. And that just lets you 
get two cards. That's going to let me draw a card. Yeah. I want to see if I can get draw me wound. Of course I have. Right. So you could do your what if first to decide if you want to draw that card or not. What what if? But the one you're pointing at. Oh, to draw another card. Well, to see if you want that card or you could discard yeah. it and then you'd be able to draw a different card. So I'll play this what if. You may care, and if I'm successful, I can care a card. I don't know what it's going to be. I'm going to say Killmonger. Although I could say Clover. Yeah, you can. You can say Class. I'm going to say Killmonger. It was a shield agent again. But you can discard that, or you can draw it if that's what you want to draw with your... I'm going to discard it. Black Widow ability. So then I'll play my little Black Widow. I'm sure she's money as well. Pop her over here. Draw a card. It's a trooper. little trooper. I can have a villain capture a bystander. Do we want to do that? May as well. Yeah. Could be we might get, there is a there's a killmonger liberate yeah. ability. Yeah. And have party scroll capture one. Yeah, sure. So that each one's got one. So I can't boost my killmonger attack card, unfortunately. So you've got five attack. You could fight the sentries for five, or is that the wound you can get rid of for five? Yeah. I'm tempted to get rid of the wound. Yeah. Get rid of the wound. And then three, four, five money. Mm. I'm going to get this for three. Draw two cards and put a card from your hand on top of your deck. Although I am pumping up a lot of red here. Oh. We don't want red though because it makes him strong. What if the zoo doesn't capture five heroes? It can capture one. Relentless Black Widow card, it, Covert Ability, Liberate 3. So 3 extra attack for things that have captured standards. And I have standards. got 2 money left. And I've got um, a lot of red. That's... And a lot of draw cards. I've got any Killmonger out. So fill in for me. Got some new Ultron Sentries, some tech Ultron Sentries. There are 2 tech out in the HQ right now. Let's see, what do I got? I've only got 1 tech thing, so... Just the plain 3 strike from that. 3, 4, 5 strike. And one, two, three, four money. Uh, I could keep putting that back on top of my deck to try and make it come out with the Thor card so I've got loads of money. I think I will do that, but it's potentially slowing down my deck doing that. So four money. And this, no matter the price, it needs strength and tech, like the Killmonger card you got. Mm, that'd be nice. But It's also got to come out at the same time as that card. Yeah, it's a tech card to make mm, Black Widow true. happen, though. So I've not really got enough strike. I think I'll recruit that for four. There's more copies as well. It's not the normal legendary distribution in this set as well. It's like five, mm. three, three, one, I think, to make the 14. It's all very different in here. So that's my money spent. And then I've got five attack. I think I'll attack these sentries. I'll get rid of a shield trooper this time. And yeah, because it's still five, isn't it? There's still three coverts out there. And so we've got Warlock now, when you rescue this bystander, gain it as a hero. Two strike, and with a tech ability to draw a card. So, got three tech things now that could hopefully work well together. I've got a couple of sentries in my victory pile as well. And this one's quite cheap to fight at the moment. It's a sentry. A sentry that's empowered by ranged. There's none of them in the HQ right no, now. It's quite lucky. Okay. I've got my wound. Bet there won't be a shield agent if I say that now. So I'll play the what if card here, this attack card. And I'm going to say, hmm, I should have really been paying attention to what I was buying. I'm going to say shield agent. Oh, the trooper. So I don't get the two extra. And I am going to discard that as well. So I've got three attack and then I get plus one if I play this card for each different villain group in your victory pile. I've only got party animals at the minute, so that's worth two to me at the minute. Four money. So three attack. I guess I will attack the Ultron Sentry that is empowered by Tech. Yeah. Because he is three, this one. Oh yeah. That's while really I've got while I've got three. And then I've got four money. I really wanted that more card, really. I'm just gonna get a psychic, I think. What's this? Draw a card, then put a card from your hand on top of your deck. Money. You've got a lot I've of red, got a lot of money. Yeah, just... I've got a lot of money. I've got a psychic. I've got hardball. Airball, sorry. Draw a card, put this on the bottom of the psychic set. But it gives you a... Nice. Have you KO'd a card from the sentries? Oh, no, sorry. Mm. Or a hero. 
I will do the agent. Yeah, you've all got coming out here. Oh, here we go. Oh no, still party animals. Frigga, mother of Thor. During your turn, you may discard a card that costs five or more to hide the party. We should throw into the villain deck. If you do, you may KO one of your heroes and then you must play a card from the villain deck. Ambush. Oh, oh. She ascends to become a mastermind and gains the ability. So she's got an extra master strike here. If there are any part intergalactic party animals in the city, each player discards a card. So that you can get rid of her by so, yeah. discarding them. You can shuffle her into the deck by KOing a hero, but you must then play another card from the villain deck. Because, I mean, there's only two master strikes left in, but and there's, there, there's a very tough party animal out here at the moment. So we've got double masterminds on the go. So let's see, I've got two, three, four, six money. She tends to go with the Killmonger card and then more tech, but it's very likely then I'll get a tech captured. Six money, two attack. I mean, there's no tech right now. So I think attack, just get rid of it. KO an agent. Do I want to undercover this? Or it, the thought has got to come out. I'm going to put there. So six money. Soulbind, I don't think I've got any of those other cards though, have I? I've got any other instinct cards. Well, I suppose once you get it, you could start working towards them. If the Liberate one better, each villain worth three or more victory points captures a bystander, and then you get an extra two strike on. I'm just making it very likely then it'll get captured, aren't I? Mm. Oh. Let's, let's try and make these tech things kick off. Maybe it'll be okay. A lot of red out there now. Oh, yeah. It's bad for Twelve. Ultron. Hopefully we're getting more powerful, though. Hey, there's the Thor card. So, Rach, your villain card, it is a scheme <laughs> twist. So we are looking for Covert, and I think you've got a million of them. So it starts with me, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I haven't got a Covert era. It's so discard it pile you. as well. Yeah, hand or discard pile. So... It's a happy bottle in your... Oh, discard yeah. pile. I don't think I've recruited one, have I? No. no. That's fine. I've only got tech. Oh, I've got range yeah. as well. Go on, strength. Oh, I've got a strength and a tech. That's good. But if that kill mark comes out. I'm going to get rid of Hairball, I think. Yeah, because the psychic's going to go away anyway. Hairball, you're going into the interstellar zoo. So if it gets five heroes in the zoo, then we lose. Okay. So I can't attack anything this turn. Have you drawn a card with... I'm going to draw a card. Give me a chance. I want more money. So I can do a what if. Mm. It could be anything. I'm going to say... You could say I could covert. say red, I could yeah. say covert. Oh no. Agent again. Uh I am gonna discard him though because I don't really yeah. let's get him money, money, money. It. So two, three, four, five, six money. There's a lot for six. Well you wanted this Gamora card, didn't you? Yeah. And if you just pile the coverts happened now, so they're safe, aren't they, I suppose? Okay. I've got a wound scheme twist. There are 11, so it makes sense. And unfortunately for me, we're getting tech. And it's me, isn't my turn, is it? We should have looked at me for that anyway. It was me, wasn't it? Yeah. But we looked at you, because you drew the card. So, well, I suppose the positive is I have got tech heroes in my discard pile, so I don't have to lose the Gamora card. So I guess out of everyone, I'm sorry, Warlock, but as much as I want to draw cards, I suppose Warlock is the card that I'll give up to the zoo. So that's two out of five. That scheme twist happened now. Okay, then what have I got in here? So investigate your deck for a card. So I need two cards from the top of my deck. Investigate for one that costs zero. Wounds have a cost of zero. I will KO that wound. Thanks, Rusty. I love Rusty Collins. And so my other one can go on top or bottom of my deck. I would love it to be coming out right now. That's a real shame. Well, since I know that my only strength card isn't happening yet, maybe I should put it on the bottom of my deck. Also, Thor's card lets me look at the top of my deck and I can KO it. So maybe we should put this on the bottom. So I've got no other draw card things. So yeah, I'm going to put put that on the bottom because I investigated for it. So we've done that and it's going to go back on the bottom of the sidekick stack. I'm just going to keep it around here for now so I remember I've got that one strike. And we have got another five from Gamora. I don't have six villains I could soulbind yet anyway. I don't think I'd want to, I'd want to save the infinite thing for mm. in case Ultron goes that way. So I've got six strike. Which is useless, isn't it? Because the only thing in the city is the party scroll just having a party out on his own because of all of the scheme twists and master strikes that have been happening. So I have got... I haven't actually got all of these shield things to play. So I can't do the special ability of Yo-Yo Rodriguez. 
So I've got three, I have got six money. So do we go in a bit of a different direction and maybe try and get these instant cards now? And it would be good to be able to KO things. I think I would like something that draws a card, but that doesn't cost five or more to do my thing. And now all the cards costing five or more have gone. There's three strike on it. Maybe that's going to help out. So I'll recruit that for me six money. That's and a so lot of red out there. I can reveal this. And maybe that means, though, that if we get rid of all of these, there's going to be less coming out later. I will choose to KO that. So basically replace that with a card that gives us two more strike, even if I don't get to do its ability. Six strike, though, gets me absolutely nothing. Or unless, what if I shuffle the Mother of Thor back in, KO somebody, and hope that we get something else? You have to discard a card that costs five or more. Oh, uh, okay. Then I won't do that. So yeah, my, my strike's wasted, unfortunately. We'll hopefully get another chance. Rach, your villain is... Hey, here's the other villain type, the Zombie Avengers. Zombie Hawkeye. Ambush, Rise of the Living Dead. So that means we look at the top card of our victory pile. If it's... Rise of the Living Dead. Yeah, if it has Rise of the Living Dead, it enters the city. So it's the first one to come out. So it's not going to have happened. Uh, when you fight it, each player draws a card. Five strike to fight it. So I could potentially have a lot of attack here. So we'll see what happens. So I'm going to draw two cards. Then put a card from my hand on top of my deck. So draw two cards, that is unfortunate. So I guess I will... I mean, can you put this back on the top of your deck and yeah. then name it? Uh, well, no. Do I say wound? I don't no. think you can, but you could draw it with the Black Widow card. I'm just thinking if I know what's on top, I can get two extra attack. Yeah. How much attack are you going to end up with if all of it works out? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. Well, 10 would like it would party get scroll. Yeah. I think that's more powerful than having this draw a card card. Yeah. So I'll pop that on top of my deck. And then, although I could just put any of this, I could put this shield agent on top there. Because then I get then I get this card. Yeah. So then I will play Break the Oath and do the what if. I think it's a shield agent. Oh, look, it is a shield agent. So... I'm going to discard that and I get the plus two. I'm then going to, maybe I'll draw scratches. I drew money. That's good. You'll be able to fight, you'll be able to do your kill monger. I can have a villain capture a bystander and I am going to do that. Yeah. So are you going to have Hawkeye or, or? I mean, I would get Are to you going to be I able think. to fight Ultron? I don't know. Now that you've got this kill monger. Well, the kill monger is money. No, I mean, the Killmonger, though, lets you activate this Killmonger oh, card, Oh, yeah, hang it? on. You get plus one for each different villain group. I've only got two villain groups. So then that would mean one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And at the moment, this is twelve. Okay, well. Or she is twelve. So somebody captures a bystander. Whoever. So we stay Hawkeye, yeah, just sure. so everyone's got the potential. Karma has been captured. I'm going to play... This, so uh, plus one for each different villain group. I've got the party and the henchman, so that is worth three. Yep. But that is a strength card, so I can now play this, and I get the plus two for each villain group, so that's worth five. And then two more little scratches. So you've got 12 strike and four recruit. So I, I'm going to hit Ultron. Okay. So, so when you hit the mastermind... It's got four tactics. You get one at random and do what it says. So what's happened? Ultron Infinity has transcended mortality. Search the villain deck and stack the first Ultron sentry you find next to Ultron. That's going to be a strength sentry. Ooh. Shuffle the villain deck. I mean, there's not a lot of strength in the, it seems to me, in the hero. So hopefully that won't empower him too I mean, much. Yeah, basically, we have just gone for a random setup just based on what if. But yeah, the, the heroes have got different amounts of the different colours in them. So he goes in my victory pile. So I've got one, two, three, four money. I'm going to get that Uatu card. So it's out well for me so far. Oh, there's another party Thor card. I've seen a lot of them. Right. So a card for, oh, it's Master Strike time. So we have both got Ultrons, but unfortunately, I think both of them go in, don't they? Each player stacks an Ultron Sentry next to Ultron. 
But it could be one he's already got. But I yeah. have only got one, unfortunately. What, what which are you empowering? Is tech. Do you think so? Sh I've got tech strength and no, I've got ranged strength and covert. I don't think we should do covert again because that seems to we be everywhere. We can put the strength on. Yeah. Because surely he can't be empowered by the same mic on twice. I think he is. Oh. So he would get two for every. There doesn't seem to be a lot of strength in there. Yeah. Let's do but then there's not really a lot of range either, but okay. And then that's his fourth Infinity Stone, isn't it? Yeah, that's his fourth Master Strike. So next Master Strike, he becomes infinite. Let's see if we can hit him. I think, well, I can get eight, but I don't know why I was excited about that, because that's not enough. Let's see. Either one of these, whichever one I play first, the other one will get plus two strike. So four, seven, nine, ten. And I've got three money. So no, I'm not going to be able to fight him. Because he's 12 still, isn't he? No, probably well, more now. More. No, because he's not got blue. Oh, yeah. So he's 12 right now, but he's likely to stay 12, whatever comes out. And I can only buy one thing. So I've got 10 attack. So I guess I'll fight Party Scroll. So each villain with three or more points captures a bystander. When I play that Killmonger card, I've got 10 attack, so I will... No, I'm going to stop you right there. We haven't done the Master Strike of... Oh, yeah. Frigga. So it was her Master Strike. If there are any intergalactic party animals in the city, each player discards a card. Okay, I'll discard an agent then. Sorry rather to than that's gonna uh. ruin this. So since I've got ten and I can't fight Ultron, I'll fight Party Scroll. So either KO this hero or someone gains it. I'll gain it. And then we've got bystanders that have been rescued now. So we've just got a standard bystander, doesn't do anything, gives you a victory point though. And I want bystanders for I'll quit it, Black Widow. Liberate equal to mm. the number of bystanders. That could turn out huge, especially if I can kill Zombie Hawkeye. I might not have a good fight turn until then. Though. Uh, when you rescue this bystander, draw a card. The news reporter. So there's another strike, which is a bit too late. So I've spent. I've got one strike unspent, and I've got two recruits. So I will just recruit a sidekick, and it's Layla Miller. One strike, choose a team. So the team is the icon in the corner. That's pretty useful, actually, because everyone in the What If set has got the same... I can't remember what the name of it is, but they've got the same team. So in theory, apart from any... So this Layla's from X-Force. But generally, our decks are just going to be full of the What If set mm -hmm. and shield. So you've got a good chance of investigating for a, a What If hero. That's all of my stuff, Spence. So who's coming out? Oh, Zombie Iron Man. Oh, Ambush each player reveals a tech card or gains a wound, then Rise of the Living Dead. I haven't got a tech card, so I gain a wound. Just a normal. I have got a tech card. I've got two tech cards. Um, and then no then one... Rise of the Living Dead. Of the Not Dead. on top of my... We haven't actually fought a, a zombie yet, have we? So it's got seven strike. If he escapes, he's going to be a new mastermind as well. So we do have to defeat these extra masterminds. Or we could just shuffle her back in, then we haven't got a defeater. True. Right then, so I've got less cards now, but... If you can what if. Yeah. Mm. It's my whole deck, so it's I've got no idea what it could be. I'm going to say red. Yeah. What's red again? Covert. Covert. It is not... Uh -oh. I nearly said Killmonger as well. Um, but I am going to... Do I want to leave him on top because I can draw Ooh, yeah. a card? Am I going to leave him on top? It's money. Money's always useful. Or I could potentially... He makes your other Killmonger card happen, doesn't he? I think... Mm. But you do want to play that Relentless, don't you? So you can liberate th three. Do you? Three, four, I suppose five. you'd only be able to fight Hawkeye. Yeah, I suppose that's better than nothing. Yeah. Okay, so I'll leave it on top, and then I will play this to draw a card, which, as we know, is my Killmonger card. I can liberate three, so three attack on somebody with... That's captured by standards. That's got the by standards, yep. Yeah. Uh, so then I'll add on these little two. So two. Well, I had... I had oh, you've got seven, actually. Four. You could fight Zombie Iron Man. No, I can't use this three on Zombie Iron Man. Oh, yeah, he hasn't got, got that. So I'm overkilling the Zombie Hulk, but that doesn't Zombie matter. Guy. So fight, each player draws a card. Oh, more attack as well. Oh, hmm. I shouldn't have this. I should have put this back on the bottom of the sidekick deck. When so I used I've it. only used three, four, five on well, Zombie Hawkeye. So I've just drawn another attack card, mm. so we'll see in a minute. And you've got a couple of bystanders. So Karma, when you any of the new mutant bystanders, when you rescue this bystander, gain it as a hero. Zero strike, reveal the top card of the hero deck. You get strike equal to its printed strike. It's pretty good. And it's covert, which is 
he wants. And this is one from the What If set. Scott Lang's head, when you rescue this bystander, whichever player is ahead, has the most victory points, or tied for the most, may KO one of their cards. Let's see, I've got one, two, five, six, seven. I reckon it's going to be Rach. Oh, because she's 17. hit the mastermind. 17? Yeah. If I can KO a card. Okay. Yes. I can KO this money. I've already played it. Don't forget that one money. So I have just drawn this, but it would mean two, three, four. If I was successful, it'd only be six. It wouldn't let me kill. So I'm not going to fuss too much about that, I don't think. Yeah. So I get plus one for each different villain group in your victory pile. I had unfortunately already played him, which was a bit silly. Oh, I still only have got two because I've had to get rid of Ultron. Yeah, you lost the Ultron century. So if that's worth three money and plus the one that I KO'd. Four. Don't really want more money. That's very situational. But it lets you draw a card. Yeah. You've got a lot of red in your deck. So it's just I'll if take we can that. if we can keep the bystanders. And I'll out. get a sidekick. Which is Darwin. So instinct one, if the most recent other hero you played has a recruit icon, you get plus two recruits. If he has a strike icon, you get plus two strike. If both, you get both. And then just a one-off back to the sidekick stack after they've been used. Party Korath gets plus one strike for each bystander held among all intergalactic party animals. Ambush, each player may draw a card. They capture a bystander for each card drawn this way. Oh, because we might have bystanders in our decks. I'll draw a card, not a bystander. Oh no, they capture a bystander. Oh, they just capture a normal bystander. I get what you mean. So I don't mind them having bystanders. We want they, are, they are now a six, but I would like bystanders for Apocalyptic Black Widows, potentially Amazing Liberate. So one of these isn't going to kick off. I suppose, oh, this isn't going to kick off because I haven't drawn a strength, unfortunately. So that can go first. So I've got two, five, seven, eleven. Each villain with three or more gets a bystander. That's just Iron Man. So eleven, liberate two. So thirteen if we're liberating. And this could liberate as well. So as long as we're hitting liberatable things, seventeen, and I've got two bystanders, nineteen. So you're six. I could fight you and still have enough to fight Ultron. Well, your liberate is probably enough just to hit. Your liberate could be separate. Yeah. Well, I, I could not play her yet. I've got, so I've got 13 there. We'll spend six to fight her. So 13, I've spent six. I've still got seven left. So no special ability from them. But two more bystanders for when I play this. I don't know if it'll matter this turn, but for the future. So normal bystander at the comic shopkeeper. When you rescue this bystander, reveal the top three cards of the hero deck. The player of your choice gains one that costs three or less. So our choice is Assassin's Stealth. Do you want that range? It's money there, isn't it? it? It's draw more. Oh yeah, it's draw more cards. And the other ones cost more. Yes, the others mm. cost five. I mean, I'll take it. I'm not yeah. going to say no. Put the rest back in any order. So they're still happening. A red is coming out, and then a green is coming out. So I've now got four. So I've got seven strike left over. This is another four. So eleven. I've got four bystanders, so 15 on either of So he is 11 right now, isn't he? So I'm not going to get to fight two more things. He's 12. Oh, yeah, because of the black. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll just fight Ultron before he goes infinite. And there's another one. That's plenty anyway. Struggle for the Infinity Stones. Fight. Gain a hero from the HQ that has one of the classes that is empowering Ultron. Nice. I guess another Killmonger card, Pricey. Like... A, just for things that fit in with me as well. Maybe I've got two chances now that the tech and strength are going to happen at the same time. And another thing affecting Ultron comes out. So it's a, it's a good thing at least. And that's Ultron half defeated. I've got three money. I kind of want cards gone, but... They're all money now. Yeah, I also kind of want a sidekick. Oh, it's Red Wing. Special sidekick. Look at the top three cards of your deck. Draw one, put the rest back in any order. And then Red Wing flies off. So, Rach, your villain. Some more Ultron sentries. Empowered by ranged. You kind of don't want to capture that because no. when a Master Strike comes out, we're then going to have to pump that in there. Yeah. Well, well, if you don't, you get a wound. True. So, you've got a lot of stuff. So, potentially, the what if is a cool ability to get to decide if, like, to yeah. play them before you draw card abilities. And then you've got a lot of cards left in there. So, it's. Gonna be risky, but I'm just gonna say red. Yeah. 
and covert. I feel like you've got tons of them. It's every that, time. Though. It's the, why don't I learn? Always say shield agent, Rich. Always say shield agent. So you could keep that and be right about the next what if, yeah. or you can discard it and try and filter through cards for when you draw one with black. Well, I can discard it by doing this. True. So then I can play this. I'm just trying to sort my cards out here so you can see them as well. So you know you're right about so it. So I'm going to say it's a shield agent. Pew. There you go. So I get the plus two. I'm going to discard it now. I'm then going to draw a card. You may have a villain capture a bystander. Trooper, would you like? Well, the Ultrons, like, why don't we just have everybody have one so yeah. then Liberate works on anybody? So then I haven't got a strength, unfortunately. So I have now got. I've got my wound as well. Four, five, six, seven, eight attack. So I could attack Zombie Iron Man. Yeah. I will do that. Yep. So fight. There's no fight ability. The engineer you've rescued, uh, when you kidnap this bystander, reveal the top card of your deck. If it costs zero, KO it. I'm kidnapping it because it's the, the from the villain yeah. set. So I'm rescuing him. Yeah, the words, it is zero. A lot of words had to be made interchangeable because of villains. Um, and I've got two, three, four, five money. Mm, I guess. Yeah. Coming out is a strength, which does empower him twice and costs six. That's unfortunate. Villain card. Oh, we have got Zombie Wong, Ambush, uh, Rise of the Living Dead. Oh, my nope. bystander's on top now. Yep. You. Lucky advice. That's a good way of getting around that yeah. as well. So, uh, I've got my mastermind tactic on, on top, so no rise of the living dead. When you fight him, look at the top two cards of your deck, draw one and put the other back. Four strike to fight. Okay then, so what have I got? So choosing a team, I'm going to choose, I've just looked it up, it's Guardians of the Multiverse. It's the symbol from What If. Not going to get to do its special ability, but good to have in it. Uh, and so it doesn't matter where I put this agent, I've only got a few cards left in my deck. So we've got one strike from Layla. Not got another instinct hero at all. Actually, Red Wings one, but not yet. So we've got four, we've got five, I've got ten. I have got, I think, one, two, three, four. I've only got five villains, actually, so I couldn't do that. It's tempting, just because Ultron's only got one more thing left. It's got two. Like two more things, yeah. They'd only have one more left. I meant to say it didn't. So, I could fight both of these. I suppose we talked about not fighting the sentries, don't we? I've got sentries already. Got Wong. I suppose I've got 10 strike right now. You could kill Wong with the first three attack cards you've played, then play Gamora and do the infinite thing because then you will have six. Do you think that's a good idea? Villains, but then when the master strike comes out, we can't attack oh, yeah. him infinitely. Yeah, I, I should save it, shouldn't I? What if I. I mean, I could discard this and we get rid of Yeah, I think we dump it back in there. Or, or oh, wait, ten. I think we wait till I we kill Ultron. I'll fight Wong. So that's four out of my ten, isn't it? Look at the top two cards of your deck. Draw one and put the other back. So it doesn't help, necessarily. So I could get five money. That's not enough to buy. I'm going to leave Thor in there. I'm going to put Yo-Yo Rodriguez in here. I'm going to send her undercover so that she's out of the way of the attackers. So I can still attack this. Should I attack the sentries? I've, I've already got sentries. Should I attack? Yeah. I've got another uh, bystander then as well. Yeah, I've, I've got plenty left over. So I've got four money. I think I'm just going to get a sidekick. It's Boom Boom. Love Boom Boom. Loads of options with Boom Boom, depending on how long you want to keep her. And if you're willing to get a wound, she does different amounts of attack. And oh yeah, the, I'm KOing that. And the Ultron sentry bystander was Rockstar. When you rescue this bystander, rescue another bystander. The dog show judge, the best one. When you rescue this bystander, each player reveals the top card of their deck. Judge one of these to be best in show. That player draws that card. Well, I don't want this right now. So I'm going to say, Rach, your shield trooper is best in show. Better than party Thor. So that's it, isn't it? Wind all of my stuff up. The wounds haven't got that much in the way, I don't think. Rach, your villain is another zombie Hawkeye. I've got bystanders on top of my victory pile, not uh, any zombies. And when you fight him, each player draws a card. Play this one first. So draw two cards, then put a card from your hand on top of your deck. So whatever I put on my deck, I'm going to draw again. So it doesn't really matter. So I'll just pop that on there. Then 
draw a card, as we know is that. Then draw a card, and I've got lots of coverts to kick off all of my little bits. Just draw another money. So let me just dump that money over there. A lot of cards. So when you play this, reveal the top card of the hero deck, you get money at no. attack. Three. Equal to its printed attack. So that's worth three now. So let's see what I've got. One, four, five, six, seven. Or ten if there's if it's on the mastermind, which you still Oh, you're drawing the card yeah. from that. That's a shame, isn't it? That's annoying. Close. So, seven I mean, you've got, on... You've got the money, but the chances of you... The, the green's worse, isn't it? Because green is mm. plus two each. Green's worse than the red. So I'll attack. Zombie Hawk Eye, there is a risk he'll come back out, but it will let you draw another card. Yeah. And then I have got... You can draw another card as well. Yeah, which is my wound. I, I might be able to fight. And then two, three, four, five, money. Really wish I could have afforded that. Four cards, so there isn't a strength in there. Another one's about to come out. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't get a psychic. Yeah. What? Oh, there's a wounded psychic there. It's Lockjaw. Lockjaw has got phasing. You can not have. You can swap Lockjaw with the top card of your deck, so you can kind of keep him around a bit longer. Yeah, just one time though. Yeah. You can't like phase him every turn. No. So, well, villain for me. It's a scheme twist. So what is this, number five? So I don't have a discard pile right now. We're looking for a ranged hero, which is a bit unfortunate for Rach. I don't know if I've got another one. And for the game as a whole, because that's three out of five. Oh, I could just dump off Lockjaw. <sighs> I'll pull Lockjaw. I know, but that's potentially four attack. Yeah. These, Sounds Lockjaw. These poor... Sidekicks. Animal sidekicks and Warlock. Right, I might be able to fight here. Let's see. I'm speaking too soon. So I'm going to play this first. Oh, we'll play this. Play this first and then this. So that's my strength. That's me tech. Each villain with three or more points captured by Stabber. No one at the moment. Well, I suppose like that's a mastermind, isn't it? I don't know. Right. So I've got four attack. Then I've got both of these that can activate. So no matter the price, four, six, nine, eleven, fourteen. 17, 19, look at the top three cards of your deck, draw one, put the rest back in any order. I shouldn't have Layla Miller, I used Layla Miller. We've got the Infinity Crusher. You can just attack him twice. Well, let's see what his first, so I've got 19, let's not play that yet. Red Wing goes back. We've got 19, let's see what his first tactic is. Unfettered Annihilation. For each Ultron Sentry in your victory pile, you may KO a hero from your hand or discard pile. So I've got one, two, three. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter, does it? Do you want to go any? No. Okay. So how much did that cost me? I had 19, and that cost me 8, 9, 10, 12, 13. So I've got six left right now. Did you count that twice? Yeah, I've got six left, and he costs 13 to attack. So I just say. Mm -hmm. But you could just do so got 11. Actually, can I soulbind six villains here? We've got plenty of Guardians of the Multiverse for this. So let's see. One, two... Three, four, five, six villains right there. Let's soul bind these six villains so they go face down. You get plus infinity strikes, usable only for a single fight. See, Ultron's been gathering up. He got four infinity stones, but Gamora has crushed him. And we'll see what he would have done, because the game doesn't go on anymore. But um, stacking no, Ultron's. It does in. go on, because we haven't. Oh yeah, we've got another mastermind. But I can dis I can discard her on my oh, yeah. turn. I've got a five card. Stack an Ultron sentry from the city next to Ultron. Ooh, Ultron's not there anymore. Then each player chooses an Ultron sentry from their victory pile to enter the city. That's a bit of a shame. So what am I, I think I've got one. City? Have I? I don't know actually. No, I haven't. Haven't you turned all yours face down? It doesn't matter, they still exist oh. for stuff. I think. Okay, so now we've just got to get rid of Frigga. Um, my turn. It's Scheme Twist. This could end the game. It's you're, Scheme Twist number six. You're right, Rach. Interrupt there. I was just looking up Soulbind. You're right, this doesn't count as being in my victory pile, apart from when we count points at the very end. So it doesn't come into the... So Scheme Twist number six. So it's my turn. So I go first. I've got, if I, oh, that's really annoying. 
a five cost card, he takes. Now I do have a five cost card that I was planning on getting rid of Frieger, Frieger with, so let's see if I've got one in my discard pile. No, that's unfortunate. So I can't discard him. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to fight her for a bit. We're so close. So I can't attack anything, I don't think. Let's see, let's see. So. Well, it depends on, can you do your what if? Oh man, covert. I'm really tempted to say shield agent, but... It's covert! It is covert. Right. And it's got another what if on it. Yes, but I don't draw it. Oh, true, I yeah. can decide if I want to draw it, but I don't want to because it's money. Okay. So that's now worth four. Draw a card. Come on, go on. Yeah, no. you want to play the red first, don't you? Play this red. Draw a card. <gasps> well... So that's unfortunate. See if you can kick it off well it might help you decide as well what if you want to draw what's on draw a, draw two cards if i can guess what, what is it, is. it? Oh, got a lot of red I keep going with the red i'm Could actually i'm gonna no i'm gonna say killmonger oh no oh, it, wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been red either so but do i want this yes i do another what if so draw a card so at the, at the moment you're sitting on the four seven Against things with against the mastermind. I don't know. Nine. I'm not going to do it, am I? Because it's only going to give me eleven. Oh yeah, true. Do you one short. That's irritating. Oh yeah, you, should, you probably should have discarded that Gamora to just shuffle her back into the deck. Oh well. So do you what if mm. you can't fight anything? It's <laughs> red. It is red. So it's eleven. Eleven fight. Can't attack anything. Oh, I've got nothing that can help. And three. Oh no, I didn't have red when I did no. that, so that's worth nothing. One, one money. money. <laughs> Hang on. Oh. I am not attacking or repeating, oh, yeah. so I can just get rid of it. You can get rid of all your wounds. Burn card for me is a scheme twist. This could blues us the game. This is all right. It's you first. So, what number is this? Luckily, I've got to just got my. I've got six, to seven. shuffle my draw pile. A four cost card. Oh, no. But I've got a lot in my discard no. pile. I've got a four cost card in my discard pile. That's lost the again. fifth one. We've lost. Oh, so Rach, I can't if believe you. If you discarded that five cost card instead of one if in it. Oh, I forgot we could do that. Yeah. Oh. Rach. Why didn't you remind me? You didn't even remember no, until after I remember, I'd done it. I remember it long oh, after you'd played it. But everybody would be screaming at the screen. Yeah. I, I forgot. I forgot well, you could do that mid-turn. Well, I drew all, the, drew all those cards and forgot. You can have the constellation that maybe we would have shuffled her right back in and drawn her right back yeah, out again. that would have happened. So, no, no, because as soon as you shuffled her in, we won the game. Oh, yeah? There's no mastermind as soon as you shuffle her in. But then you must play a card from the villain deck. That is true. So I assume you'd have to, like... I'm going to go with the reality that... We lost. We, we, came, we, we came very close, that. but unfortunately, Thor. ignoring the mother of Thor, Your mom never a good idea. Our life. But there we go. There is a game of legendary after many, many years with the new what if set. So, as always, you can see it's about pretty much every legendary set. Cool new things, cool new ideas, lovely new keywords. Love the what if gamble. It didn't pay off a lot of the time. But I'm really it's helpful when it did. <laughs> right. Oh, I'll we'll have to do another one. I really wanted to attack her. <laughs> I'm so close. And like one strike away from doing it. But there we go. I hope you enjoyed that. Let us know. I'd like to do more legendary. I hope you'd like to see more of it because, frankly, there's about a thousand different heroes at this point that we could jumble into it. You can subscribe to see more. There's hundreds of playthroughs on this channel. You can support it on Ko-fi or Patreon. There's links in the description if you'd like to do that. Thanks if you would. And uh, yeah, we'll see you for the next game. Bye, everyone. Bye.